there. Welcome to this episode of Author Success Show. The special guest we have today is my friend and client, Avi Arya. Today, I'm not going to be giving you his introduction and you'll find out why. Hey, Avi. Welcome to Author Success Show. Thank you, Jyotsna. Lovely to be here. I usually uh, do a proper introduction of all the guests. But then in your case, I felt that since you are somebody who created the hero's introduction concept, you must <laughs> do your introduction yourself. So please go ahead, Avi. Awesome. So I always believe the shortest distance between two human hearts is a good story. You tell a perfect stranger a heartfelt story and you find a new connection for life. And that's how we gave birth to this concept called the hero introduction. So my hero introduction is, my name is Avi Arya, father of two girls, six dogs, husband to a superwoman, a street car racer, turn hotelier, now social media marketer and founder of Internet Moguls. Amazing. Uh, we worked together for the Internet Moguls um, book. But even before that, you had a couple of book projects happening, right? So could you go back in time and tell me about the first book that you worked together with your girls? So the first book was, so I used to travel back and forth between India and Canada a lot. Mm -hmm. And I used to feel very guilty whenever I was, so I was telling my wife one day that, uh, uh, what should I do? I'm feeling guilty. She said, don't feel guilty when you're here, in mm -hmm. when you're with us at home, then uh, uh, read them bedtime stories or whatever, spend time with them and put them to bed. So I would re I would tell them stories and they would go go to bed in five minutes. And mm -hmm. I would come out and my wife was like, well done. I was like, no, it's, why is it well done? I wanted them to listen to my stories for an hour. This is our time to spend time. But mm -hmm. it took five minutes. As a marketer, I should have realized my audience, my girls were going to sleep because I was, to, I was telling them my story. I went here, I did this. The story has to be about the audience. So we changed mm -hmm. it. Elder one is called Raya. Younger one is called Aviana. We combined it together and said Raviana, and the uh -huh. passion was around chocolates. So we created a fictitious factory called Raviana Chocolates. And every day a story was about these two entrepreneurs going to work and they had hired me as a mentor. And they oh. would call me when so that was the story. Some problem at work, mentor calling. So every day there was one story like mm -hmm. that. And then we told our friends and family what's happening, and they like this is very nice. So then we hired a very nice uh a sketch artist and we put a comic book series called bedtime stories for tomorrow's entrepreneurs so that was the first project wow i actually admire you more as a father than all the other roles that you play <laughs> uh, because typically you know dads who have uh, two uh, teenage daughters now they would uh, ask about their grades and all the extracurriculars that they are supposed to do and all that but your daughters are actively involved in your uh, business even inside the internet moguls of the world so was yeah. it their um, interest that I know after hearing all these entrepreneurial stories from you, was it their interest to take an, play an active role or did you tell them that why don't you intern with me and learn certain things? Uh, you know what? I worked with my dad in his small business for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, all my memories of my father today are because of that. And all the business lessons today I have are because of that. I didn't go to, I've never worked in a corporation. So I don't have any formal work experience. So all I learned was from my dad, grassroots, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they will work harder. Uh, and, you know, your customer is your God and all of those kinds of things. Now people have different work. So I realized that that was the best bonding. I I bonded more with my dad than, than my other siblings mm -hmm. because of that. And I was like this uh, in India, you know, there's a panwala whose son is sitting in the shop or cycle yeah. while his son is there and they're all learning the ropes on how to run. We feel our kids will go to school and college and then learn. Mm. And I think then you say after 30, you do your MBA and then learn. I think, no, I think you, they can learn much faster. Plus it was a personal selfish, this thing of mine to spend more time and involve them in something with, so that we don't only meet uh, and talk about video games or cartoons or whatever. We have more things to talk about. Mm -hmm. And I know for a fact that these will be the most solid memories that they will have of me. So I just wanted me to play. a. It's a selfish thing. You know, I want yeah. them to love me more. So <laughs> we love more by spending more time. So I had yeah. to find something to spend time together with. And it, I think though it, it could have been a selfish uh, thing, but uh, ultimately they are also learning so much in the process and, you know, blossoming as uh, beautiful. 100%. So that's an amazing like both of them. Thing. Uh, so Raya, Raya is a complete gym person. She wants to get into women's bodybuilding two years. She's planning for competition now. Mm -hmm. She works very hard. So Raya wants protein shakes and she wants all of that thing. Aviana wants chocolates and all of that. So for both of them, I said, I will buy you what you want. You give uh -huh. me a list. But what they have to do is, right now they're going through this book for the third time. 
otherwise any other book that i get mm-hmm. they have to read the chapters and write a summary of every chapter in a one page blog wow. and at the end of every book aviana wants a 25 dollar roblox card to buy some video game coupons she will get that raya wants some protein shake whoever wants what i will never say no mm-hmm. but you have to create that and put wow. it uh, write a blog and also put a video on your youtube channel so they've got their mm-hmm. own channels and they're putting everyday learnings over there so mm-hmm. so yeah so i'm I, i don't know what all is going in right now but it all it becomes a structure for later like you know as a soldier you taught how to carry another soldier on the back you taught mm-hmm. uh, archery you taught uh, uh, to be in stealth mode you taught how to cook and then this is a toolkit what they mm-hmm. use later i don't know but i know they will and and i i and i know that uh, uh, they will thank me for it absolutely yeah. this is such a fun way to teach them that they have to earn uh they way through all this and not just inherit everything from you yeah yeah 100% 100% right. nothing you know every time my parents are you know they're the best parents on the planet but mm-hmm. they gave me they like they ragdolled me 12 14 hours uh-huh. work 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 and all that but they also gave me a lot of stuff yeah. i don't think you should give your children a lot of stuff and my girls are are just they're not they zero percent entitled hmm. if they have to ask me for five dollars they have they will come with a plan that can i clean <laughs> your car you know awesome. your car is dirty so they know they're not entitled at all like if they have to buy a hundred dollar thing hmm. for them they will make a business plan around it to okay. come and present it to mom and i so i like that you know yeah. you want something tell us what value you can add in return awesome so yeah. when you wrote a second book uh hashtag ask avi arya that book was more about answering the burning questions that your followers have right right and your future books could have been a volume 2 volume 3 of the same thing but your recent book is completely different you because i know the amount of knowledge you have in so many different areas of you so you could write more and more books only about your journey but instead you chose to take a different path this is a collaboration book where so many different uh, you know br- brilliant minds have added their stories to the internet moguls of the world So how did that idea come about? Uh, firstly, we were in the process of building a school, hmm. uh, Internet Moguls of the World, and I wanted to uh, say that what is my school about? My school is about everything that I've learned from all my travels, from meeting Gary Vaynerchuk, from Grant Cardone to you know to all the nine masters in India, to everybody, all the people I've met in my life, they are the ones who've made me who I am, hmm. and I'm a amalgamation of so so. then what i'm doing is when i'm teaching or i'm coaching i'm telling i'm pulling out from one thing that i've learned from any of these people and say hey this so why i wanted them the people that i've learned from to teach my audience through me so you know wanted to make, find how that would happen and uh uh plus i wanted to do something with my girls which would be something which would be like wow nobody's done this you know mm-hmm. so it was difficult to be so that's why we said we based on the name of the school internet moguls of the world and we reach out to people and reaching out to people is one of the most difficult things for people mm-hmm. and for us it's like we continue sending micro videos we don't it doesn't matter most people 50% people don't reply but 50% people did we sent about 200 micro videos 6 70 people said yes and 62 people formed the book so the idea was that uh, now when people come to my coaching uh, we have a one year coaching program in that i tell people to read every chapter of the book and watch every video comment on what you learned from each person and create your own internet moguls diary mm. so what they're doing is they're learning from all these 62 people three learnings from every person and they will have 200 points of theirs from there we help them decide the 20 that they're going to follow which are going to be their own principles wow. so it's sort of an extension of and then if you're in the digital marketing and entrepreneurship ecosystem i think we've covered some of the best on the world now isi me se take 20 points in this you know and that becomes my own coaching stuff so a uh, lot of things fell in place now it's easy for me to tell you why yeah. but but uh, there was no exact plan this will happen this will happen just good concept we we'll do it with the girls we we'll interview people all of these people together nobody knows them i mm-hmm. uh, you know nobody knows them in one book together yeah and so i want That's this to be big names right Uh, yeah so i want this to be the digital marketing a bible for every digital marketer every entrepreneur mm-hmm. and it's just the beginning you know because a book like this can be marketed for 5 years it's not going to get old right it can be marketed forever so yeah absolutely i'm so glad you guys 
took the effort of interviewing so many people. So what I feel, Avi, is what stops most authors is um, the fact that they are, they have this fear that, oh my God, if I reach out to, uh, let's say, uh, Dan Locke or uh, Pat Flynn, uh, what if I get rejected? You know, that's why many people don't even make the effort of reaching out. But you spoke about sending 200 micro videos. So what would you typically tell in these videos and uh, would you send it to their email or social media? How would you reach out to them? So first, I'll, so first what we'll do is we have, I want to be actually in passionate about the people that I'm following. So I know mm -hmm. a lot of things about them. Pat Flynn loves Back to the Future. He loves Lego yeah. or, or Dan Locke likes a certain red color or, you mm -hmm. know, you, you know these people and you, so when you create a video for any one person, you talk about that stuff. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jotsna. I hope you're doing well. I wish, my, uh, actually, you know what I wanted to tell you that your dance videos, <laughs> my daughters and I saw, I, they're both great dancers and you would be proud to see them dance. And I see, I see it's so therapeutic the way you do that. And uh, great. And I'm sure in an entrepreneurial setup while working, this is, you know, so relaxing and it's exercise and everything. So kudos to you for doing that. Um, Jotsna, I saw that also you've written so many books and you've helped so many people. We would love to, and, uh, you know, your kids are growing up, my kids are growing up. There's so much synergy that we uh, find in the way that you're living your life and all of that and how, what we are doing. How a regular person can become an author uh, and change their life. The story that you told me about, that you said in one webinar that we attended of your grandmother reminded me that there's so many people in my audience who need to hear that they too can leave behind a legacy. Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking for is 45 minutes of your time to take part with us in a venture. My daughters and I are doing a venture together. It's called Internet Moguls of the World, where we're interviewing 60 plus people. And we would love to feature your story over here. We'll be marketing this book and make sure about three to 4,000 copies are sold and your story goes out to enough people. All I need is 45 minutes of your time. There are two options of doing it. We can meet on a Zoom call or I'll send you all the questions. You can send us video answers. We will feature it on our YouTube channel as well. 45 minutes of your time and uh, to be able to take your message to the world. Once again, Continue dancing. Give my regards to your ch children and everybody in your team. Once again, my name is Abhi Arya, father of two girls, six dogs, husband. So Wow. <laughs> I don't I've, think anybody can refuse uh, you know, a request like that because it's right. so personalized right. and it just directly connects to somebody's heart. Exactly. So e every single email or video had this kind of personalization. Mm. Yeah. So what I think the mistake that most of us make is we have this a template kind of an email that we just send out and wish that somebody will reply. And why would people yeah. do? Because they get yeah. so many requests, especially the popular entrepreneurs. They get so many requests for interviews every day. But when everybody from like Patrick, this, Pat David to uh, Dan Locke to all of these amazing people to Ranveer Alabadi, you know, everybody's got managers and managers, managers uh -huh. or whatever. And so to get through to them, uh, you know that it might this message has to be checked by a secretary who also has a heart <laughs> and that person should say, Oh my God, I cannot not show my boss this video. So you know that it may not directly reach these people. Some of most of these people are reached out to directly, but there were 25% people who we had to go through, Managers. but everybody said, you know, we love the message and we had to show it. But yeah. having said that, uh, uh, some people said no also, and that's fine. That's but okay, we know yeah. we, we, we uh we felt bad for some some of the things, but I felt very good because the girls learned that they were like, why would people say no? But we're doing such we're going to sell their books, we're going to market for them. And then why is it some people don't even reply? I mean, that's mm -hmm. rude. So they learned a lot of stuff that happened. That's real life, some people right? said yes, gave the interview and then sent an email saying, remove my name from the interview. So I, while I was getting ah, uh, while this happening, mm -hmm. I was like, these are the real life experiences that the girls need to learn. So yeah. Right. So initially, the plan was to interview all these people and have them uh, as a part of the course, right? So at what point did you decide that let's also convert this into a book? Uh, so uh, not the course. It was uh, the plan was to interview them and have them as part of our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we said that uh, what are the other ways that we can, what is that one introduction to internet moguls of the world that this is a global platform where you can come and meet people from all over the world? So uh, what is the physical copy when I go and meet somebody mm -hmm. and uh, what is it that I can carry in my heart? Like you always say in your webinars, your book is one of your best marketing tools. It's better than your business card. Mm -hmm. So what is it that I can take to people and say, this is what we are working on. 
you can't tell them you tell them to check out your website which might happen later mm-hmm. so all online is great but when you are in a in a conference or something you have to have something as beautiful as your book to be able to tell people so the book had to be there as a marketing tool mm-hmm. and plus like i said when amazing people like these give their gyan then this this is an evergreen product so mm-hmm. i know there's nothing are evergreen and you know if you go into the philosophical realm nothing is forever and all that mm-hmm. but i wanted to create something which is as evergreen as possible something yeah, which will yeah. yeah yeah and actually you did it right and uh, recently you when you went to the social media marketing world in san diego you actually gave away the copies of the book to a lot of people you met yeah we gave away the book and we uh, got about 20 of these entrepreneurs we ha- we took a f- life size poster Mm-hmm. of this cover okay and they signed on the poster the oh, poster is okay. lying right here when i get about 25 more signatures then i'm going to frame it and put it over here because it's uh it's it's 3 3 years of hard work right yeah. amazing so when we started working together avi you had all these interview transcriptions with you so how did you enjoy the process of converting those transcripts into an actual manuscript see the thing is uh i i i believe people work with a lot of structure i am not one of them what how my style of working is if you see my i've got six diaries open right now right one <laughs> or for different projects that i'm working on yeah. and i write in my diary any points that i've learned so if i'm talking to if i've learned something new i'll put it in internet moguls or internet moguls of the world or my hotel project or i'm writing i'll put it here and when mm-hmm. i come back and I'll take a screenshot of this and I'll send it to any of my co-founders or managers on the different projects, and they have to get it done. If they have a problem, they will talk to me on the weekly calls, and then I don't want to talk about. It. Mm-hmm. So to work with somebody who doesn't have the time, the you know, if I had not found you and your team, I would not have been able to deliver this, because I am all over the place, and that's how it's always worked. So I try to meditate, put structure, and all of that, but I cannot, I cannot. work on one you know like that that book which says the one thing yeah. for me it's the seven things <laughs> right i have to work on seven things together and i stop blaming myself for being the way i am it worked for me yeah. so i needed somebody who will understand what you know so your team came as a blessing and um, so what i would do is i would interview these people and send not only the not the transcript i just send the video to your team hmm. and they would transcribe and send it back to me and then back and forth on you know and uh, then we had to delete so many things because some people said don't add this or whatever so back mm-hmm. in but the thing was the one thing that i wanted to learn from you was how do you have so much structure in your organization <laughs> because they were all they were always on time they always had answers see what happens is we all have teams sometimes the team says i don't have an answer let me go and come back mm-hmm. that not once did the team say or they didn't need to say let me talk to jyotsna and get they didn't need to so yeah, they were there they to take come back unless like it's some thing that they've never done before they always you know know how to figure things out it was so, you know sushmita was i mean those people are like they okay this is what we can do and everything was uh it can be done let me figure out how it can be done mm-hmm. so it was a very positive uh, end to every conversation and uh, then the so she was she's great you know the every because everybody speaks differently all these people they're not speaking in a structured manner yeah. although we would give the sim, give similar questions but then they would go off so Each put to put every put, voice yeah ex, to put everybody back in the similar structure you start with hero introduction do mm-hmm. this and then i told your team that i want same similar questions to be asked answered they said but you haven't asked the same questions i said but can we still put a framework that looks similar which meant that they had to really Uh, put that structure mm-hmm. now that should have been what i i do but i it's already one and a half years into the interviews now i can't mm-hmm. go back and look at it so they did that then your editor the gentleman nikhilo nitin i'm forgetting his name and mm-hmm. he came into the picture see the thing is speaking good english is one thing mm-hmm. writing and communicating somebody's values through written english is a completely different thing so i know a lot of people who speak very decent english and have a good command on their language but they cannot write to convey or relay a a, a message for nuts mm. so i am always skeptical always skeptical on what's happening and all of that now your team put everything together and i was like 
I had to check it twice only because I was like, how is it that I'm not finding faults in the first part, first go, you know? And then honestly, once I was like, you know, once I met those people in different conversations, uh, I started saying, they said, can you check it? I said, yeah, if you've checked it, why do I need to check it? So I started let, letting, letting it be. Then finally, one more step happened when uh, the team came and said, uh, for about 30 or 40 places in the book, they said, you have said this, but I think this should be said in a certain way. Now, I don't think anybody does that. Because mm -hmm. if your book is going fine, everybody says it's okay, I'm saying it's okay, then why do you need to make improvements? You know, get the project done and deliver it and get out. But when they came back with about they had some yellow highlights, mm -hmm. they said, this is what we feel can be said in a better way. That was when I was, you know, when I was like supremely impressed. I was like, this is what I want. Everybody wants somebody to add more value. So that's why an entrepreneur can say, here, I'm giving you some unstructured work. Just make it the best and come back. So I want to thank you and every single person in the team for, and especially you for running it so in such a structured manner. What Every time I was like, but my team calls me for so many things. I said, Josna is not being called. I need to learn this part. <laughs> I think probably it's because initially when we started, I was doing everything. But yeah. it's been seven years and like 400 books, right? So the team wow. has figured out the steps and the processes, I guess. So what I also enjoyed about your book project is it's not just about the book. People enter your ecosystem through the book. Yeah. Uh, you have it on the website for people to buy. And what happens after that? I, I noticed that they can join the school, they can join the mastermind, and they're also planning to create some cool merchandise. So could you talk about everything around Internet Moguls of the World? Yeah. So we have uh, yeah, we have the website uh, Internet Mogul School Internet Moguls of the World School dot com IMOTWS dot com. Then we have uh, so I'm very proud of the school that we've created. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not cheap. Uh, I don't want it to be cheap. Also, and we continuously increasing the price. Uh, so far, we have 411 people who've joined the one year program, mm -hmm. and uh, where I am bringing the world's best, some of these people, and mm -hmm. some I mean other amazing people to come and teach. So it's a global school on entrepreneurship and uh, with a bent toward people who want to do videos for from mm -hmm. anywhere and become content creators or whatever. Uh, the school has 10 principles uh, that I will just send you on your WhatsApp and uh, we want to live by those one of this. So I've got a hoodie. My sister mm -hmm. does all these designings for me. Mm -hmm. So I've got a hoodie for every principle mm -hmm. and it, uh, this is going to be available on our merchandise site. Maybe my Sunday or Monday, it's, you know, as close as that. We have a kit that goes to everybody's home. And that kit is also being reworked. We had a beautiful kit, but we're reworking it. Mm -hmm. And it's coming out really, really nice. And uh, you will be amazed at the level of personalization on every kit. Every kit will be different. Wow. So that, so that means that for every kit, you have to understand who's the person who joined us and what should mm -hmm. be put in that for him. Because I, I can't, I hate the forwards when people send happy holy. <laughs> Some very senior people said, I was like, why the hell would you do that? In fact, you're offending me and you're taking more of my memory space. By yeah, I'm with their company shop. logo. I know. Just, uh, hi, Avi, just for thinking of you on a holy, uh, take care. That would be much better mm. than just sending a, a oh, thing. Boy. So, uh, you know, I think it's, um, everything is about um, personalization. Um, yeah. So first one is, Kush Rahobas. Mm. Just be happy. And that's it. The other one is stay close to the router. Router is your family. Nothing. COVID, India survived better than other parts of the world. People say it's because of whatever. I think it's because we are, we are closer as a society, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, sabki karo apni. listen to everyone. Do what your heart tells you. Mm -hmm. Because then you don't need to blame anybody. Be happy. Kaam karo jo dil jeet re. You know, do the work that wins hearts. Mm -hmm. That's, that is what you need to do to become successful. Never say never. Things will change. If you say, if you, if you put up, uh, you know, if you say something is, nothing is definite. So don't, don't put that line in the sand. Uh, kisi se nahi, never be afraid of anything. Um, mm. Keep marching. My dad always says that things are going bad. What can you do? Keep marching. That things are going amazing. What can you do? Keep marching. Keep don't marching. think about. So keep marching. Pyar se baat karo. Please have, I, we say, please have one thing. Talk nicely. Doesn't matter how, what has happened to the other person, whatever, just talk nicely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just a good way of living. Thank you, God. Very important part of what I do on an everyday basis. Right. And uh, the last 10th thing is that become a heart worker. Whenever uh, the heart worker is somebody who chooses love out of fear in every decision. 
we when we feel, feel fearful that's when we make wrong decisions or whatever so right. these are the 10 principles so these are the 10 hoodies that are going to be available awesome. and then we have we have stickers for this that people can put on their laptops and so the stickers come with the book the book is the book, the stickers are going to be put in the book so you can put it put one sticker on every chapter that you like mm-hmm. and all of that and then obviously at the end we've got your light bulb moments and what are yeah. the things that you've learned so we want people to fill up the book and make it messy mm-hmm. and then and say that you know as are we i've got this book that i've been working 7 years back i bought it or yeah. 10 years back i bought it like a seven habits of successful people you know the, i wanted to become so that kind of a book they should just read it they should literally study it it's 100% <laughs> and so what what we're doing is like what i'm i'm what i'm telling my girls to do and they've done a brilliant job of it mm-hmm. they're doing it for the third time the, they have a final test on the 15th of may that test is that i'm going to tell them uh, there are 62 questions uh, who said this they should be able to <laughs> quote the author amazing that's the level of mastery that i want them to have and that's yeah. the level of mastery that i will want my students to have as well mm. because they should be able to say oh this person said this this person said that because these people are just amazing and uh, if and then they will be able to pull out any one principle and use it in their life so just trying yeah. to actually want to make this a bible of entrepreneurship yeah from what you just said avi uh, what i want to personally learn is that you're not just teaching people and giving them the knowledge but you're also creating these powerful values and uh, helping people develop the right mindset to become successful entrepreneurs and that's what is going to make them have a fulfilling life rather than just a successful life yeah because i th- things change 10 years back i was thinking differently maybe tomorrow i'll think differently but today i definitely feel just go home hug your parents if they're still with you hug your spouse he, he or she is with you your children if they're still with you because tomorrow all of these people are one day not going to be with you mm-hmm. this moment is not going to be with you the external world will try to tell all of you people do this do this do this and i'll love you more but they're never going to love you more it's just how the world works these yeah. people are going to love you more uh, uh most regardless of what you do in life mm-hmm. so what you're looking for there is already with you today so uh just keep that in mind all the time and i want to repeat the love that you're looking for because everybody is looking for love yeah all that recognition and everything uh, people say my mission is to impact 1 million people i don't know why why would you want to impact 1 million people i don't understand what is that mission coming from and i want to change yeah. lives you basically want love you mm-hmm. want recognition you want that so that's fine it's fine to want love and recognition i'm saying that somebody at home who's already, already there yeah yeah they say they are ready to give it to you go take it from them mm-hmm. and you want it from strangers who don't care tomorrow you do something wrong there's the first people to pull you down yeah. so you and want that love from them <laughs> ask for a refund ask for you know whatever all those followers and all of those it's yeah. it's good it opens new doors new opportunities and it's 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 so much fun mm-hmm. uh but not at this cost yeah you this is a very heavy cost for pay to pay for that if you can so that's why my endeavor is to build it together because mm-hmm. i am somebody who wants both i am yeah. saying this but i want both this is too much fun and this is fun as well so can i do both can i get the family together involved mm-hmm. in this project so we have no regrets that's why i said it's a, that's why i said it's a selfish mission awesome Ali. <laughs> i just love this way of thinking so i personally started following you only after you became a, a teacher a speaker and all of that but even years before that you were an entrepreneur you started your social media agency helping the hospitality industry so what i'm curious to learn from you is that at what point should a successful entrepreneur pause and decide that okay i am already successful but having my business alone is not enough let me now wear the hat of a teacher and start teaching my success stories to others uh see i'll tell you my my thing i i am one of those people that i was just referring to i need love from a lot of people Hmm. and i knew this coaching and teaching and i was always a uh, preacher i didn't preach in a certain establishment but from my childhood i was always a preacher i was always a storyteller hmm. so f- this was something which i always did uh, uh and then social media came and i was like oh this this is meant for me and i started doing more of more of it on social media but i feel uh, even when we were in grade 8 and uh, grade 7 we were going to grade 8 or any grade and for us maybe maths or geography or social science was a very difficult subject and we found one senior who was only one year ahead of us in life mm. 
Mm. When that senior gave us a diary full of notes and said, "Just do this," for us it was like, "Oh my God, that guy is my mentor. He's yeah. given me everything." So you just need to be one year ahead of life in life, mm. uh, and you can really help a lot of people. Mm. So and now if you help those people, you can get money for it. You can be a consultant, coach, whatever. So there are many options which have opened up, and that's why I feel people can do that. But for me, uh, it's not about becoming successful and giving back. I feel uh, there are two ways. You do the best in your business make a lot of profit and with that profit you think what am i going to do to help people there are many other mm-hmm. things that you can do with money and help other people and uh, the other thing is that include something in your business that makes uh, you know helps people mm-hmm. uh, so i have two small businesses where a percentage of the money goes to help other people my dad has always maintained that you cannot not do that and uh, this business internet moguls of the world is something which is helping people and making us money Mm-hmm. so this is way more fulfilling i'm not so everybody can decide whichever they want but this is so much fun because uh, there's no uh, everything happens on time with people pay you money and say thank you 10 times mm-hmm. in the social media agency world which is my last 10 years of work and i still work very hard for, to run my agency uh, nobody says thank you mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like and everybody's got to complain your graphic is not right your this thing was not right or whatever so so this is very very rewarding that way True, true. So one doesn't have to wait for ten years to become successful before teaching. They just have to be a few steps ahead of somebody else uh, to become a teacher. You can be in grade set, grade five, and start teaching what you've learned in grade five on a YouTube channel, and people mm. will follow you. So the thing is, be, this so again, external certificates are not what I talk about. Mm. I'm saying life has given you an experience, and that experience needs to be put on LinkedIn instead mm. of your. So your LinkedIn will be. uh i got divorced twice your linkedin will be i lost somebody in my family a senior mm-hmm. my my grandmother or somebody in my family uh, my your linkedin will be i am part of a 24 member joint family your linkedin will be i lost my leg your linkedin will be uh, uh i went through schizophrenia i went through depression these are life experiences mm-hmm. wear them like badges and teach other people what you mm-hmm. went through when you went through that so mm-hmm. you already have those life experiences so you don't need that extra degree that's what i feel Your, like they say your mess is your message so all yeah. these messages wear as badges uh-huh. and Be put it on your linkedin yeah it. proud yeah. of them because that's what you can teach others mm. but but have you know i don't i'm not rich so why will people uh, listen to me that is wrong you mm. when you know when you uh, i understand if you have a private jet everybody wants to follow your youtube channel and say i want to become like it but that's those are young kids mm. a serious entrepreneur who wants help in life from a consultant or a coach would rather go to somebody who's been through that experience in life yeah very well said avi i just wish more and more people watch this episode they follow you and start helping others uh, without you know selfishly holding their messages within their heart so where can people go ahead and find out more about you uh just uh, type on uh, our youtube channel ask avi arya mm-hmm. that's the best that's that's where my 100% focus is nowadays because uh i think youtube is a great platform and lots of amazing stuff can happen with that sure abhi and i will also send the links to the uh, books right below this video so people can go ahead and grab their copy awesome and i want to say once again thank you jyotsna i promise you if you had given up on us we would have give, we, we you know this book would not have happened oh we can uh, never do that abhi the first time i met you i knew that you know we would be helping each other in some way and at, at that at that uh, hotel conference in delhi right exactly yeah 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 3 years ago yeah and so uh, when i when when you when you said i'll take over you actually took over because i'll tell you my experience of working with a partner is and i'm saying it not because we're on this interview has never been as good because uh it's always been a little bit of but when you had made that commitment that you know okay this is we'll make it happen it was not i know it was the 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 uh, um the commitment from our side would it was going to be a one year project it became a three year project mm-hmm. and so it, any time you could have said abhi one year is over our commitment time is over but you held our hands till the next three years and i don't think i don't think anybody else is uh, would do that in fact i had two amazing very good companies and they're still very good i have no this thing against them but before i was working with you we were doing some other project with them and uh, i mean the experience was not good so uh i i wish you people charge 10 times more than what you're charging mm-hmm. and you'd get 10 times more clients and you still have time for yourself and your family and everything grows for you and your amazing team 
thank you so much avi thank you so much for kind words and love and uh, once again it's been a pleasure to have you on author success show awesome thank you jochna thank you so much for your time